It has been snowing out non-stop all day today. Really, I guess that means though that uh, I get another workout besides gym today because I get to actually go home and shovel. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Actually, the good news is the car is not as covered as I thought it was, which is really, really good. I think I just came to the profound realization that I forgot my gloves at the office. I could go back, it's like a three minute drive, not even, uh, to get my gloves, but I'm gonna power through it. It's not a lot of snow to shovel, but we'll shovel it. That is what I call... It's cold. Ah. That is what I call a, a clean walkway. And the bad part about winter right there <laughs> is the um, fog of glasses although it's clearing up pretty fast so I'm gonna I'm gonna get changed <laughs> So, if you remember last week, we did a little timeline covered from my last YouTube video to now, and that's what these new vlogs are going to be about. Well, in that time, I've lost a significant amount of weight. And so, if you've known me for any amount of time, you know that I have struggled with my weight. I've tried diets, I've tried weight loss trends, I've tried get skinny fast quickly trends. I've tried absolutely everything and anything to lose weight, all with varying degrees of success. Now, I'm very happy because I've never let my weight stop me from being who I want to be. I've been able to do things that I love, but at the same time, there was a lot of things that it was holding me back from. I was also fortunate because I was never bullied for my weight, um, at least not to my face and at least not anything that I can recollect it or I did a darn good job of, of blocking it out. But I've always felt like I could do a lot more if I did not have the weight, that it was a little bit of a hindrance. Um, so the heaviest recorded weight that I ever weighed was 480 pounds probably even more because I had lost weight by the time I was actually able to weigh myself with that weight. I was struggling to put on socks, couldn't fit in airplane seats, couldn't do the simplest of tasks. They became really hard like picking up clothes or, or doing chores. They actually became so hard for me to do and it was at that point that I realized I needed a change. And so of course my vlogs, my old vlogs, covered me trying to change back then. I wasn't as successful, I did end up stopping. 
But in 2016, moving on that timeline, I decided to pursue bariatric surgery. And for those of you who don't know what bariatric surgery is, there are different types of bariatric surgeries, and I went with the RNY gastric bypass. Now, if you don't know what the RNY gastric bypass is, I've created a blog post for you that explains the RNY gastric bypass. Just click it up here. The one thing I'd like to point out is that this surgery was not a quick fix by any stretch of the imagination. Patients must be motivated to lose the weight. They need to be committed to changing their lifestyle. The surgery is actually a tool to help us lose weight. It does not work by magic, nor does it work alone. That's the key point I'm trying to make. I look forward with these vlogs to sharing more about how I am and how I've managed to be successful. I went from being 480 pounds to 261 pounds. I've lost 219 pounds to date so far. This vlog is gonna showcase my journey for you. And of course, to do that, I should rewind and take you back to January 24th, 2017. That is the day I had my RNY gastric bypass. Luckily, I did some filming on that day, so I have some footage that I'll splice together for you. Here is surgery day. It is the day of surgery today, and I'm currently en route uh, to the hospital. Uh, really early in the journey, but no traffic lights, but there's a lot of traffic, or I mean brake lights. But <laughs> um, this is the start of the journey. So after circling uh, the hospital and all its parking lots for like what seemed like an eternity, we're finally at the hospital. So we are going to uh, go into the pre-operative care unit. So uh, I'll vlog more as the day continues. So I have checked into the pre-operative care unit, POCU and uh, just waiting for this little pager to go off so I know when to go in and uh, start the process. Uh, so mom and I are just waiting. It's the waiting game now, I guess. back didn't even have time to finish my tea just kidding hope you enjoyed watching my day of surgery and i wanted to vlog obviously all this last year but just so much going on but i'm gonna get into it that's what these vlogs are for now i'm gonna get you all up to date and including showing you my life thank you again for watching please if you haven't already done so subscribe thank you to those who have subscribed already like me on facebook follow me on twitter on instagram social medias are in the link below other than that we will see you next week